Hey loves, welcome back to another video. This is part of my gel free hairstyling and I'm going to show you guys my very very simple wash day routine. I like to keep it very minimal. It's more so about the technique than it is about the products. So this was an old braid out. I'm just going to get my hair wet under that shower head. I like to loosen up any of the product that I had left on my hair and kind of rinse and squeeze out any of the old product before I begin to shampoo. Now for me, I'm going to show you that I do two shampoos. Now prior to this, if you guys have any buildup or you know gel on your hair, definitely do an Aztec clay mask. That will rid you of everything on your hair. So I definitely suggest doing that. So I'm going to go in with my Cream of Nature shampoo. Now all the products I'm going to be using, I will put in the description box down below. And I like to focus that on the top of my head. Um, around the edges and then I like to split my hair in two and focus that down the middle and then put the remainder on the nape of my neck now I like to do that because I feel like it goes around the entire parameter of your head and I really focus on the scalp so I'm going to massage and just you know get any of that dirt build up and just lather away now as I'm lathering the rest of your hair is going to get washed now I know a lot of people think that you're supposed to lather up on the mid shaft of your hair and the ends of your hair but really you're just roughing up your hair so really focus on the scalp do a really good scalp massage and as you smooth the shampoo down it's cleaning the remainder of your hair And now I'm gonna go in with that second lather. I always feel like the first lather is just removing like the first layer of product. Even though you guys know I've been doing the whole gel free thing, I just like to go in with a second lather to really make sure my hair is completely rid of any product buildup. Especially if you're someone like me who is pretty heavy handed with edge control. I put a lot of edge control around my edges and also the nape of my neck. So that's why I like to focus on those areas the most. And then I'm going to simply rinse that second lather out. And now my hair is squeaky clean and I'm just going to separate it into two sections and I'm going to take a butterfly clip and pin that part up and I'm going to add in my conditioner and I'm using the Aunt Jackie's Cool It Conditioner. This is their newest collection. This is the Aloe Mint Collection and I'm going to apply lobs and lobs of conditioner to really make sure it's all in my hair and then I'm going to be taking my Felicia Leatherwood Tangling Brush and making sure to detangle in the shower now this is what i meant by it's more so the technique for me on wash day i like to detangle my hair in the shower now i love this brush specifically because it has open teeth and i rave about this in almost all my videos now because it's so easy to clean but because the teeth are open it doesn't snag your hair like a dimming brush would and what i mean by that is with the teeth being open if you run into a tangled area it will like expand and not tug as much if that makes sense and you guys it is gliding through my hair this conditioner has so much slip it smells amazing with that mint i love anything with mints in it and i'm just making sure that conditioner is distributed distributed <laughs> all throughout my hair and this is like honestly the most fun part of wash day for me i just love having my hair completely detangled and just feeling it be you know stretched out by the brush it feels really good when you're combing the brush on your scalp and then you know it's also a little arm day for your arms <laughs> and once i apply my conditioner i'm just going to pin it up and apply a shower cap because i like my hair to steam up as i continue showering 
And after I rinse the conditioner out, this is how my hair is looking. The waves, the curls are popping. They are moisturized. Now, because I'm not doing, you know, any gel styles, I am going to just use a leave-in conditioner and a curl cream, which is also from the Aunt Jackie's Aloe and Mint Collection. So next, I'm going in with the Hydrate Me Leave-In Conditioning Cream. Now, this has marshmallow root in it, um, mint, and aloe. Now, putting this on, you can literally smell the marshmallow root. Like, it smells so sweet mixed with that mint. And I love it. Now, I like to apply my products directly out of the shower. So, you guys can see my hair is still, like, you know, dripping a little bit. So, pretty damp. Not too, too wet. I did literally kind of, you know, hit the air a little bit. So, I'm just applying that to um, my hair in two sections. Now, I would do more sections if I was doing a style that was going to be like a braid or a twist out. But I ended up deciding to do a halo braided crown. So, I'm just only applying my products in two sections. And as you can see, I'm also using the Felicia Leatherwood brush again. I love using this brush in the shower and just styling my hair in general because it is just absolutely amazing. I will also link that in the description box down below for you guys to find it. There are also many dupes of this brush as well. So definitely get your hands on this. Next, I'm going to go in and divide my hair to uh, two more sections, so four sections in total. And I'm going to be applying my Flawless Perfecting or Flawless Pattern Perfecting Pudding. Now, this is made with aloe, mint, and manuka honey. I hope I pronounced that correctly. This also smells great as well. Now, again, you guys, like I said, I'm not adding any gel. I ended up doing a halo braided crown, which is a perfect hairstyle for the spring and summer because it's off your neck and your shoulders. So I just went in with this because it's going to kind of act as like a, a holding product because this cream or pudding is a lot thicker than the leave-in, in my opinion. So... I thought this would just, you know, act as a great holding product. And I'm going to apply that in four sections just to make sure it's really well distributed throughout my hair. And that is pretty much it, you guys, for my wash day routine. Like I said, I keep it very minimal. I don't like to do too much. And if you are experiencing a lot of product buildup, I do highly suggest doing an Aztec clay mask before you um shampoo your hair and you know follow through with the steps that i showed you guys i also have a video on that as well and i'm not going to be showing you guys how i styled my hair because i also have a video on how i did this halo braided crown too which i will link both of those videos in the description box down below for you guys to check it out because this video was merely just me showing you my updated minimal wash day routine and that is pretty much it, you guys. And again, this was the Aunt Jackie's Aloe and Mint Collection, which is their newest collection that is about to drop. So make sure you guys check that out. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What are your techniques that you do on wash day? Do you like to keep it minimal? Or do you like to, you know, do the most? <laughs> I'll chat with you guys later in the next video. Bye.